Hello, this is Deborah from 3D Gumshoe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set relative texture paths. As you can see, we have a scene where the textures are all set up properly, but if you would like to send this scene to a client or to a friend, you want to make sure that the textures are set up to be relative, so that when they open it up on their computer, everything opens fine. To show you what a absolute texture path looks like, which is opposite of a relative text texture path, we're going to go to the Hypershade, which is in Window, Rendering Editors, and Hypershade. So if we click on the Textures tab, and click on one of the files, you can see right here this long string of text that has the exact location of the text of the image is an absolute texture path and that's not what we want so let's show you how to create relative texture paths I'm going to open up another scene I'm copying and pasting the location that makes my workflow easier and as you can see we don't have textures anymore and that's because it was set with absolute texture paths and now Maya is looking for the textures if we click on render you can see in the lower right that Maya gives us this yellow warning sign to tell us that the textures do not exist now if we click down here on the script editor you can see all the textures that don't exist right here so now let's fix it we're going to go back to the hypershade window rendering editors hypershade textures tab we're going to click on one of the textures as you can see right here it has um, it's looking for the texture in the same folder as the file but once we click on this I'm going to click on this folder and we want to go to set project so set project we're going to go to the location And now you can set the project as the whole folder that your um, project is contained in. So let's set it as this Toucan Sand folder. So let's press the set button. And then this pops up. You can create, uh, you can click create default workspace. And now you gotta reconcile the textures. So this is feet texture.jpg. So we're gonna find that on the list, click and open. Now you can see that it, it has a, rel a relative texture path with the exact location of the texture. And you're going to do this for all, you don't have to set, click set project again, but you have to reconcile all the textures. So this is eyes texture.jpg, and so you have to reconcile all of these textures. Okay, I've gone ahead and reconciled all the textures, so now all of them are in the new folder and have their correct name. So now, when we render this out, it's set up correctly. So when you pass this to a client, pass this to your friend, they won't have any problems opening up the file, and, and Maya will have no problems finding the textures. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this video, and we'll see you next time.